How's your energy, Southern Arizona? I'm Paul Cicala. Guess what? Today is Dr. Seuss's birthday, so let's celebrate sports, reading, and rhyme. Today, March 2nd, you know the time. Dr. Seuss was all about the cat in the hat. Matt, Steve, and Christy, you all know about that. But Dr. Seuss should know I'm a true wildcat. So this cat in the hat will be a cap in the hat. It's a wildcat cap. You all know about that. Bear down, I say, with a baseball cap and the U of A, and the swing of a bat. Why is that? Because the Arizona Batcats were battling it out against Cal State Fullerton. That's what it's all about. Rock the my baby, the crazy AZ. This type of hustle is far from lazy. It's JJ Matijevich going from base one to two to three. An old fashioned triple, that's what you see. With the onomatopoeia, ping, pang, pie. For Cesar Salazar, how about a sack fly? Bobby Dahlbeck comes home. This is a run with an Arizona win. Fun, fun, fun. The final score is zero to two. Wildcats in their caps, certainly here for you. Speaking of Zona, U of A, that's cool. A former standout took a handout against a big bull. The Bulls of Chicago against the Magic, you betcha. Aaron Gordon in the corner, busting the trifecta. He grabbed 15 rebounds, oh, what a sight. Aaron Gordon was scoring 13 points on the night. The Magic win, 102, 89. Hey, 95. Now let's keep on going with the Dr. Seuss theme with two more teams. You know what I mean? Cannon Del Oro and Tucson High. Softball it is, sports fans reply. Good day, hello, howdy and hoy. On to Oro Valley we go with the Badgers on the mound. Brenna Greaser at the plate. How does this sound? Bunt, 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 beware. Ariana Felix sprints to the plate. She's in there, I swear. Safe for CDO, what do you know? The Dorados shine high in the Valley of Oro. The loser today, the Badgers of Tucson. 3-2 is the score. Let's go. Come on. In tribute to Read Across America Day and Dr. Seuss, we have the ultimate student athlete, a man we call Zeus. Caleb Tarzuski with the nickname we claim, the seven-foot center is prepping for a game. The California Golden Bears are coming to town. Mikel Center tomorrow. Go Cats, bear down. And as for Cal and the Golden Bears, nationally ranked, just ask Joseph Blair. The former assistant and Wildcat great can surely attest to Arizona's fate. The proud alum saw the crowd rush the court and, oh no, the last time against Cal, just six weeks ago. So revenge is in my eyes, the title of this tale. Tip off on Thursday, 7 p.m. at McHale. Expect another thriller as they climb the league pillar. Dr. Seuss will be proud. Let's hear from Sean Miller. You know, for us, it's about playing our very best against Cal on Thursday. And I think that's our picture. So cheer for the Wildcats. Go, go, go. Don't sit, jump high with the Dr. Seuss flow. Get out of your seats and say hooray. It's a special day. What do you say? I say, hey, it's Dr. Seuss's birthday, brought to this earth 112 years today, and even the softball team is ready to play. Today will be tomorrow, a Thursday for you. Coach Candrea and the Wildcats will host BYU. It's a homestand of sorts called the Wildcat Invitational with a handful of teams. I do say it's sensational. For extended softball, hold your glee, keep calm. We have more with the Cats on KVOA.com. Mm, Happy nice. birthday, Dr. Seuss. I'll say once more, reporting live on Paul Cicala for KVOA News. <laughs> I love your Dr. Seuss, Ronald McDonald. And you know what? Dog. These are actually aren't Dr. Seuss. Matt Brooke told me to wear these. <laughs> these are actually uh, Ronald McDonald uh, for... You know, that was very it's clever. In the spirit. And yeah. I say bravo. That, that I say was bravo. Good. Very hey, creative. Bravo to all the kids that are dedicating themselves to reading and Dr. Seuss yeah. for uh, Love of Reading Week. And <laughs> <laughs> I think you made sports history there. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. We'll be right back. <laughs>